Hello and welcome to I'm a Stupid Moron and I have a big butt and my butt smells and I like to kiss my own butt. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fordion. Why, why do you have to be so negative about yourself? That's and, very strange. And Jason Amherst. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 he, ho, ho, he, hey, ho. Oh, he, he, he. Ha, 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 he, he. Eric Blackheart points. Anyway. Let's go. Let's do this. We're on uh, call, call of the Machine, I want to say this is called. I forget. Call of the Machine. So, that sounds like a so, badass. Something like that. That sounds like a badass title for a rock album. Anyway, uh, the last time we played this, I beat the uh, six, N64. Uh, yeah, campaign. and you, you you went through it pretty quickly, if I remember. I did. I just kind of blew through that N64 campaign like it was nothing. Pretty much. That might be just because I've played it so much. Okay. Okay, it's saying to go there. I don't... I don't know why... What am I doing? Do I... Do I... Do I... I don't know. I guess I gotta find out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Compass isn't doing me oh. any good. How did I get here? My god, what have I done? What? Infiltrate Mega Corpse? Sir Goob. Somebody want to tell me what the hell this is? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird for. Oh, BFG right off the bat. Interesting. Oh, nice. Oh, actually, uh, now that I'm thinking about it. So, as we are recording this, it is the 29th of October. Yes. Um, tonight, it's Game 4 of the World Series. And uh, yes. let me tell you something. If the Yankees are going to go out like dogs, I'm going to be very disappointed. They're down three games to Zoopy Doodles, to the Dodgers. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so, uh, I've I've been taking great pleasure in it. Oh, you know, we can't be all like the Boston Red Sox who are like what twenty six thousand games under five hundred this year, give or take. Oh, uh, let let's face it, only one team can come back from three and zero. That's true. The Yankees know that quite well. Yeah, the Cincinnati Reds, obviously. As we are, as we all. So, uh, I've I've been having fun in another Discord because uh, there there's been a Yankees fan who's been trying to rub it in everybody else's face, you know, about uh, the Mets losing and uh, big, stupid faces. Yeah, you know, and, and and he's just been like, you know, ha, 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 Yankees are in the World Series. And it's like the Yankees have lost three games straight. And are about to get swept out by the Dodgers, so it's just, like, just... Been like non-stop freaking posts of uh, gifts of David Ortiz. The Yankees lose, <laughs> and and Plucky Duck. Yankees go down the hole. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Actually, my personal favorite is one of. Uh, Austin Powers uh, uh, dancing around with David Ortiz's face play, uh, pasted over him. Da, 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 da. The Yankees lose. The Yankees lose. I mean, I know Boston fans are very salty because right now the only team that seems to be doing anything of, of goodness is, is the, the Celtics. I mean... The Bruins are decent, but like, you know, just okay. 
you know, the Patriots somehow won. That's kind of a miracle, but like I, most of the teams in the NFL you know, kind of suck the season. Bad. It's pretty fucking bad when you're the Jets and it's like, oh, wow, the Patriots suck this year. And we still lost. Whoop, whoopsie, whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> whoopsie fucking doodle. Sports. Yeah, the, the Dolphins lost by a point. I'm sure the I'm sure the spelt man was quite upset about that. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> so, I thought he was back to being say, the I thought he was back to being the fat man again. That's the joke. Oh, all right. Uh, but lost like, on uh, me, I guess. E- e- either either way, uh, either way, um, you know. It's a 60-minute game, and, uh, you know, if you play only 50 minutes of it, whoops. Well, uh, didn't, uh, didn't two a uh, tongue of my asshole come back um, for the, that last game? He did. They still lost. <laughs> oh. Like I said, they lost by a field goal at the very end. Like, they lost by, like, a point. How how do you lose to the Cardinals? I ask of you, sir. I don't know, but the Cardinals still have a better record. They're like four and four this season. Oh God! Hey, at least yeah. they're not the Bears. The, yeah. Well, the Bears are actually the Bears are the Bears are four and three, but they're still last place in the NFC North. If you can believe that. At least you didn't, you know. At least you weren't like taunting the audience, and then ended up. Fucking up a Hail Mary and giving Washington. Oh my God. Yes. And the fucking crowd's <laughs> like, turn, turn, you fucking idiot. <laughs> All you really did was make the Washington Commanders quarterback look like a god. You know. The Washington Commanders have somehow managed to look good all season. It's like, who is this and what have they done to that maroon team? You know who's actually, you know who's really sneaky good this year? Uh, the Lions. Hmm. It's like, don't look now, but they're six and one. Yeah. You know, it's it's just funny, because, like, you, you look at the sports ball teams and you just kind of go, wow, what the fuck is really going on? I, I, I think, at least in terms of baseball, uh, I'm... As a nerd, I'm going to claim bardic inspiration and claim that uh, the Mets got as far as they did thanks to the power of the Grimace. Wait, bardic? Wasn't that uh, wasn't that the bat in the Anastasia? <laughs> yeah, you know the one well, uh, chosen by Hank Azaria. Well, because 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 that's that's a thing in D and D, bardic I, inspiration. I, I, I... I, I know. Jason did, I know. Well, anyway, uh, the Dodgers had a special uh, Hollow Live night uh, run by Cover Corporation. So, so they had VTubers uh, and VTuber merchandise, including the seventh inning stretch sung by uh, one of the most subbed VTubers on YouTube, the Shark Girl. Gargura. I I don't know what seven of those words mean. I the do, uh, one that goes, Onya. Oh, that's her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The shark girl. After so, a while, uh, after a while, they all tend to sound alike to me. They all start to blur together because they all kind of do the same voice, the cutesy thing to a degree. And it doesn't help that I. It doesn't help that. It doesn't help that the cutesy voice that they do gives me the ick. I mean, by, by comparison, there are some that stand out like a sore thumb for different reasons. Like uh, Zentrea just uses text to speech. So, I mean, there's that. Or uh, there's uh, Raura Panthera. She's Italian, uh, so she's she's got the accent. Or uh, Elizabeth Rose Bloodflame. 
with her ridiculously long name and she's she's great exardian which is their way of saying british she's british she british yeah. she's british uh like I, I love how that's that's their way of explaining certain accents with some people. Like some of them, they're blunt about it. It's just like, yep, there's no way around it. She's Italian. No, uh, and then like, no, I'm I'm great Exodian. She's British. <laughs> so uh, VTubers have kayfabe, you know. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm you know, sure. I mean, because there are people who do refer to it as kayfabe, which I think is hilarious. Well, I learned the hard way about I learned the hard way about kayfabe and VTubers. <laughs> what did you get a stone cold stutter from Congo Musha or some shit? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Oh God, oh God. He 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 messaged me. He's like, "What do you think you're doing, man?" I don't know why I turned him into Randy Savage, but just go with it. Probably because he streamed uh, WrestleQuest for like eleven bajillion weeks. Yes, that is true. So he, he had to put on that uh, cross between Cheech Marin and Macho Man. <laughs> For hey. so long. Hey, S.A., what's going on? Yo, yeah, he needs the spice, man. Oh, see. This, this one's too spicy for the pepper. <laughs> you know, the, the game is funny, but my God, like, uh, it's it's sad that, like, there were a lot of technical issues with it. It was fun to watch him play it, though. Yeah. Wow, everybody just exploded. Quake yeah. man, you you murderous bastard. Quake man make everybody explode. Yep. Quake man, baby explode, explode. What are you dee 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 da? So apparently, Rikishi took umbrage at the fact that Braun Breaker recaptured the Intercontinental title. Oh, speaking of Rikishi, uh, WWE has a new program called WWE ID. You know, I, I, heard, it was supposed, I heard it was supposed to be the quote-unquote new developmental program? Yep. Uh, basically, they are going to provide prominent independent wrestling schools with the official designation with the goal of providing new trainees and existing talent uh, develop enhanced developmental opportunities, uh, which include Booker T's Reality of Wrestling, Cody okay. Rhodes' Nightmare Factory, Seth Rollins' Black and Brave Academy, uh, elite pro wrestling Give training center. Seth in. Rollins has his own developmental thing. Apparently, yeah. Uh, elite pro wrestling training center in Concord, New Hampshire, uh, which okay. happens to be a uh, Kowalski school, uh, and Rikishi's Knox Pro Academy in Los Angeles that he co-runs wow. with uh, Gangrel. Not surprised that. Killer Kowalski school since Triple H was trained by Killer Kowalski and he always, Triple H always made sure to uh, shout that out. Oh yeah, no, he, he puts priority in uh, Kowalski uh, graduates, hence uh, one of the Dunkings and uh, former tag champ uh and member of DIY, uh, blanking on his name at the moment. DIY Bald. 
Tommaso Ciampa? Yeah. Correct them under me. If Tommaso's DIY bald, what the hell is Johnny Gargano? Uh, DIY hair, I guess. Sure. Oh, uh, it's DIY. Like DIY. Have... Who gives a fool? No, that'd be Cand like that'd be Candice there's, LeRae. There's... Well, because there's there's FTR bald and FTR Glock. Okay. Because remember, the other guy got in trouble. Yep. With guns in. And and it's hilarious that the Outrunners are the only reason I care about FTR at the moment. Mm hmm. Oh, because that is one hilarious gimmick that has massively gotten over. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, they are two vascular men. God. <laughs> Freaking AEW. What the fuck? I to the moon, no. To the moon, no. Uh, hey, there's the moon. The moon looks at me. So, uh, Mick Foley is a much nicer person, like far kinder person than anybody can ever give him credit for, for what he said uh, recently on CNN. Okay. Uh, he explained on CNN uh, how he was able to remain friends with The Undertaker despite their political differences. Okay. I can count on one hand the number of friends I've lost over politics. The things that draw us together are so much more meaningful than the things that divide us. You know, that's a very nice sentiment, but when you think about... I have trouble being friends with people who vote for people who want to see my friends and people like me not exist. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's like, okay, Mitt, that's very nice of you. You're a very kind person, but in, in this environment in this landscape just doesn't work that way unfortunately yeah like they've gotten too far radical now uh, back in 2016 yeah sure in 2024 nope well again I'll say it Mick Foley you're a wonderful human being. You're a very kind person. But it's just not going to work that way, unfortunately. Oh, uh, here's something interesting. A couple of games from the N64 roulette are uh, showing up on the Switch Online service. Nice. And that is? Uh, Shadow Man and Turok 2. We played both of those games, didn't we? Yes. Yep. And then I recall Shadow Man wasn't too bad. It was all right. Yeah. I mean, we didn't play it that long ago, so I should know these things by now. Oh! <laughs> by the way, uh, hey, hey, Jimmy Pesto. Enjoy your year in jail. <laughs> hey, Bob! I'm going to jail for my political beliefs. What are you doing? Uh, being free. I, I, I still love that people were yelling at Jericho, where were you on January 6th? That's right, Chris. It's me, Jesse Ventura. Where were you on January 6th? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't... I didn't uh, you, don't, you don't seem to have an alibi, Chris. 
We, we know we know where your wife was. The children of Macro. Yeah. Oh, you killed one of them. I was gonna say, uh... have to be the dead children of the Macron. The children of the corn, bitch. I was gonna say, M Macron, isn't that the person who runs, uh, France right now? Uh, the Prime Minister? <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! I didn't say jeez, I said jeez! <laughs> I didn't say jeez! <laughs> I said, "What the fuck? What's your problem? What's your problem, Aru?" That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. I'm gonna switch back to. Con I'm, I'm, I was playing controller. I'm gonna switch back to keyboard and mouse. I think. So you were saying the uh, the keyboard and mouse were just giving you a hard time. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but... Ah, fuck! Well, I, this is how you know Mike's far away from the, from the microphone. <laughs> but the mountains, they are so far away! So far, I just can't see. So far, I just can't pee. Well, that sounds like a you problem, buddy boy. It is a you problem. <laughs> Urinary problem. You, you in. Ha ha ha. He ho ho. You are in town. Gotta live, gotta live, gotta live, and you're in town. You're in town. Here we go again. <laughs> okay, so you saw that fucking douchebag uh, comedian who made the joke about Puerto Rico at the uh, totally not Nazi rally at Madison Square Garden. Uh, I didn't. I didn't watch that shit. I, I've, I've seen it. Well, there's apparently now a program where they, they somehow they found his address and people are mailing him boxes of garbage and it says from Puerto Rico to you. <laughs> uh, I hope it was worth it, you fucking loser. What an idiot. What an ultra maroon. What a silly, silly goose. What a silly, yeah, stupid yeah. motherfucker. <sighs> Lord, I just don't know. Why do people have to be so dumb? Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. I don't know. What? Why would you direct me here and then tell me I need the security pass? Fuck off. Top, top. Aha. Bitch. 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 Oh no, system error. Okay. That doesn't seem to be too much of an error. Hmm. What the, what the hell is this? Oh, which uh, sale, huh? Yeah. Uh, Yikes! The uh, the Nintendo World Championship that that got smashed. Well, uh, here's the thing with Woot. 
you're not guaranteed an ESRB copy, or you might get an ESRB copy in a not ESRB box. Okay. So, for example, uh, I had gotten Luigi's Mansion 2 HD for like 40 bucks shortly after it came out. But for some odd reason, even though my copy of the game is an American copy of the game, the box art, like, does not, it's not the right region box art. Like, the back of the packaging mentions, like, a completely different region. So it's, you're, you're getting, like, mismatched product for some odd reason. That's why it's so cheap. I see, I see. Yeah. So if you don't care about, you know, the box matching the product, that's not a bad deal. I see. Because some I of see. these games, like, some of those are some Hep of the cheapest prices you'll see on some of those games. Hep C, Hep C. Hep C, Hep C. I said Hep C, but all right. I'd rather Pepsi than Hep C. Yeah. Shame, shame about Pepsi, uh... You know, they're they're laying off people because uh, they're closing a bottling plant, I think, in like Chicago or something. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that but, either. But uh, I know, uh, I know, Mike mentioned uh, that he got the Elgato working again, so it's like, oh, well, big Nintendo sale. It's a good opportunity here. Yeah, and actually, especially today, some of these games are fairly recent. Today was payday, so I'm probably gonna uh, reactivate my on Nintendo Online and uh, get that going again. That's good. Oh my God, a new John Tron video? Yeah, I told you. I said the other the, the when he released the last one last month, I was like, oh, he released it too close to Halloween. He's going to definitely release one around Halloween. Well, uh, I sure know how to call interestingly him. Interestingly enough, so uh, you'll never guess who Thir was a 35. guest. Oh, uh, who was a guest on the most recent Death Battle podcast? Uh, H. John Benjamin. Uh, they were talking about the Universal Monsters. Uh, Yoshihiro Tajiri. <laughs> you know, if you're not going to take this seriously. <laughs> well, I didn't. I knew for a fact once he said that. I didn't know who he was talking about, so I just, I made a, I made a guess based on the information. Was it an educated guess? Probably not. But at least it was a guess. Uh, James Roll. Oh, who was it? The uh, the angry video game nerd, James oh. Rolf. Yeah, what a what a strange crossover to see like ABGN popping up on Death Battle podcast to discuss the uh, Universal Monsters. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, he is a big horror movie fan and, uh, you know, uh, tends to do videos every year uh, around Halloween, his uh, Monster Madness videos. It's, uh, so popping up on Death Battle podcast to talk about the Universal Monsters, uh, I guess isn't too big of a uh, surprise. It's just one of those things where it's like, oh, wow, like the nerd talking on freaking Death Battle podcast. Hmm. Be hilarious to have him as a guest voice in an episode. <laughs> These are the performers I know, I know. These are the performers I know. Hey, James Rolfe. Why are you so fucking angry, man? <laughs> can't you be a little... Can't you be a little more mellow? Uh, Here's the Dean Wormer I know, I know. Here's the Dean Wormer I know. Zero point 
Zero. Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil. Such a such a great name, Tom Bombadil. How'd your family come by it? We changed it in the ninth century. Yeah, it used to be shit apps. <laughs> a good change. A good change. So good. Oh, speaking of Mel Brooks movies. Yes. Terry Gar passed away. Dad. Yeah, I, I read about that. Yeah. And I was sad. Would you like a roll in the hay? It's fun. Roll, roll. Roll, roll in the hay. Didn't hurt that she was very attractive in that movie. Uh, yes. Correct. But then again, so was, uh, Madeline Kahn. Taffeta, darling. Taffeta, my dear. No, the dress, it's taffeta. <laughs> no, no, not the lips. Oh, I gotta go through here. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a dum dum. You're a dum dum. Everything. Mm. Everything. Mike is. Huh? Mike swimming in pissy, farty water. Piss water. Poo water. Pissy, pooey water. OP water. Keep on rolling. Mid. Piss, a sippy moon. What? <laughs> Piss, a sippy moon. Da -da -da -do -do. Why don't you keep on peeing on me? I'm gonna get fancy by boobity bang. Pretty mama, come and take me both of her. By the hand, hand, take me by the pants. Pretty mama, let me pee on my daddy all night long. The fuck? Um, the fuck? <laughs> okay, whatever band sang that song needs to go home now. I, uh. I don't know what came over me. I think you need to go home. I am home. But you should go outside just to go back home. But I'm in a room to lose some weight. <gasps> hey, fatty, I got one for you. A fridge too fridge far. Fridge too far, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Skinny, bunny, pop, me, but up, bunny, but up, pop. Oh my God! Okay, it's not. Somebody's so getting community notifications on Twitter, and it's beautiful. Do what? What happened? Uh, cause, uh, somebody said, uh, Bad Bunny has endorsed Kamala Harris. And they responded, he's not even American. And community note, Puerto Ricans are American citizens. I'm telling you. So they you. responded, community noting a comment is so fucking weird. Oh my God, y'all are so obsessed with me. Correction, we are not obsessed with you. We are just preventing the spread of misinformation. Exactly. <laughs> My original comment is correct. He is not American. He is Puerto Rican. Once again, 
Puerto Ricans are American citizens. <laughs> the I'm, confusion. Hello. I don't know how. I don't know how how much simpler it could be explained. Puerto Rico. It's like community noting this person. Puerto Rico <laughs> is a part of the United States. You can. These people can say it's not all they want. It's uh. I, I love it. The, the confusion, the denial. The vast confusion. <laughs> Community notes still on my dick. Oh my God. <laughs> Community oh my notes God. on my dick. That's my autobiography. What? Community notes on my dick? Yes. Uh, it's, a weird, uh, 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 it's a weird title, but all right. Yeah, but it's catchy, isn't it? Uh, the title or your dick? Yes. Okay, then. Got any more bright ideas? Uh, I, I have one for this show. It's where I play video games while you chuckle fucks make fun of me. It's called Bax and Gamer. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it for the last three years. Yes. That sounds like an excellent idea. <laughs> let's, let's fucking go. Let's do it. Suck my white ass ball. You want me to suck your white ass ball? Sure. That's uh if you want. I mean I'm not gonna stop you. Oh I don't I don't think I wanna do that. I mean you're the one that suggested it. You're the one who said it in the first I said place. suck my white ass ball. Who said I was referring to you? I don't know. It kinda of sounded like you was talking to me. You silly Jerry. You are you are not silly Jerry. I'm silly Jerry. What the hell's the matter with you? I want to go back to Bethlehem. <laughs> the, the fuck? <laughs> Why? Now I'm just now I'm just imagining Jerry Seinfeld in like the Old Testament. Like, what is going on here? Why are you nailing that guy to the cross? What is the deal with frankincense? And why is it myrrh? Are you trying to call somebody named Murray? Who are these people? They call them the three wise men, but they bring the dumbest gifts. What's the deal with that? Yeah. That doesn't sound very wise to me. Jerry? Jerry, they were very important back then, Jerry. All right, George, calm the fucking down. It's just a bit, George. No, no, you see, Jerry, you, you're just making George bit. upset, Jerry. George, it's just a bit, not a bitch. Hello, Jer speaking of bitch, hello, Jerry. Newman. Newman, don't you have to get eaten by a velociraptor? Hey, don't you have to get killed in weird ways every single week on the sketch comedy show, The Edge? That's right. Newman was on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> he was indeed a show that was long before its time. It's true. It was Jennifer Aniston's first television role. Mm hmm. She's actually she was actually quite funny on it. 
You know who else was on that show? Downtown Tom Julie Kenny. Brown. Oh, yeah, Tom Kenny as well. Yes, absolutely. Tom Kenny was always hilarious. And who can forget the comedic stylings of James Stephens III? <laughs> 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 Well, I guess there's always that one person that nobody knows who the hell they are. Right. I think the one sketch from that show that I remember was Wayne Knight dressed up as Santa Claus. And he's got this very long list. And he's like, oh, naughty, nice, naughty, nice. Oh, 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 okay, I'm all done. And then Mrs. Claus comes by. Did you remember to check it twice? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I remember uh, the, the, the family with the guns. That's what I remember. I don't remember that, unfortunately. Yeah, just a just a family that likes to shoot guns, sometimes at each other. Isn't that like every family in America, though? I guess so. Apparently, this was the Pride Pod CG, and there's a rainbow on it. <laughs> That's very, the gayest pod I've ever seen. Very progressive, Quake. It's true. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, makes me want to go suck a dick right now. Brad Jones. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that something Brad Jones is known for doing? No, but we... You kind of sounded like him when it you said that. makes me want to go suck a dick right now. I mean, he's shown sure. it, he's shown his dick on camera, but he hasn't sucked one, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know his hey. private life. Hey, who wants to see my wiener? Just uh, get the Nudies, Rudies, and Crudies DVD. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's on there. It's too bad that he never goes to any conventions around where I live. Because he doesn't like to go on airplanes. Well, I mean... No, seriously, that's the actual reason. Whoops. But there is no shame in that, of course. There we go. We are oh shit. Fuck. P.S. Why does he jump so hard? Uh... Well, when a, when a jump gets very excited, the blood rushes to its weenie. Um. Fuck. Yes. Because platforming in first person fucking sucks. That too. That, that's a better answer. There we go. I made it. All right. Away we go. Hey. Hey. Hey, guys. What? I got an idea. You want to hear it? What is it? Okay, so Lois, you're going to love this. It's a subscription service for Spanish custard based desserts. It's called Only Flans. Yeah. Oh, Peter. That makes my boobs jiggle uncontrollably. Uh. That, that's, that's very oddly specific, though.
What Billy's up to? Gosh, I'm I'm so hungry I could fart an octorop. <laughs> That's right. We just turned this into a YouTube poop about Billy. It's my favorite thing, poop. Holmes. I'm sorry, Billy, but we don't have any. Japanese boobs to bat to. Unless you have the <laughs> rubies. Unless you have the Come ruby back when you're rubies. Come back when you're little richer. Come back when you're little Richard. Come back when you're a little Richard. I'm surprised nobody's actually done that where Come back when you're little Richard, and then just a clip of little Richard. I think people have made that joke before. Oh, uh, okay. Well, never it's mind. still fun. They just cut out the in between, said it's come back when you're a little Richard. Mm. The most musical mm in history. Mm. It's it took me nine years to get all the cereals. <laughs> yum yum cereal. <laughs> Fuck Steven Universe. Scratch my ass. Scratch my ass. Tomorrow I'll. <laughs> uh, Cooper football <sighs> players took the princess. <laughs> the bagel. The bagel. The bagel. <laughs> you know what they said. The early bird catches the worm. Or was it the bagel? Mama Luigi. <laughs> That's Mama Luigi to you. Uh, Hi, Brennan Jones here. You know, Mario, you were kind of a dick in that episode. <laughs> hey, look, Mario. I made a football. It's a stone, Luigi. You didn't make it. <laughs> Jeez, Mario. Why do you got to be a dick all the time? Well, if I wasn't a dick to you, Luigi, people would take advantage of you because hey, you're so look, fucking stupid. Hey, look, Mario, I stuck a paintbrush in my ass and squatted over the page. Well, Luigi, why the fuck would you do that, Luigi? <laughs> no, 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 don't laugh. Make it make sense to me, Luigi. Why would you do something like that? Explain it to me. Well, you said my art right? was shitty. I never said that. Yeah, you did. Maybe you were drunk and you don't remember, but you said it. You definitely said it. Well, you know, I, I, I've done an awful lot of peyote lately. There are some things I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. So you telling me I shoved a uh, paintbrush up my ass for nothing? Um. Uh, yeah. God so damn it. Saying. Kids, don't do peyote. If anything, if you if you take anything away from this, let Uncle Luigi tell you, peyote is a dangerous thing. You, you know, that's right, Luigi. I don't I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was I guess I thought I was gonna have some kind of religious experience, but no, all all I did was strip naked and then shit all over the place. Oh, that's I. That's where I got the brown paint, I guess. I, I thought we just had tubes and tubes of brown paint. Oh? Guess it was, your, guess it was your fecal matter. 
Luigi, how is it that despite the fact that I'm talking about taking my clothes off in a peyote filled rage, you still sound like the fucking idiot? Well, I am Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we go wrong? <laughs> I, I think the question is, where did we go right? Well, that's a shorter answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think all of our peyote, uh, all of our peyote friends have picked off this video by now. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. So. Oh. Bye, peyote friends. Hello, mushroom friends. Do, 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 do. So, welcome to the mushroom kingdom. Welcome to <laughs> the mushroom kingdom. Bienvenido <laughs> a mushroom kingdom. Hey, hey, Mario. There's something I just realized. Yeah, what's that, Luigi? Well, I can't help but notice all the if you if you read the lore of of, of Mario, all those uh, blocks and Goombas, they were transformed Mushroom Kingdom citizens, and uh, you, you you tend to break blocks and and kill Goombas. So uh, technically speaking, you murdered a lot of innocent people, Mario. I, uh, guess I have to atone for my sins, Luigi. I, uh, I, I guess I gotta be arrested for mass murder, Luigi. Guess you're well, wait in charge a, but wait, Well, wait a minute, though. There's, there's no, there's no law enforcement in, in the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, uh, yeah, you know, now that you mention it, they really don't talk about that, do they? No, I've never seen any police, and I've been all over the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, we should ask the princess about that. You know, when she's I... not busy sucking, sucking fucking Bowser's wiener. What was that? Nothing. Uh, oh, nothing I'll... at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I'll ask you as soon as she comes back. She's going to the store to buy some Plan B. I don't know why, we never had sex. That's, that's, uh, that's a lot more than I need to know, Mario. I mean, Fucking... she explicitly told me that's why she was going to the store, Luigi. Well, why I mean, did, I'm why not did gonna... you have to tell me? I mean, why did you have to tell me, Mario? I don't withhold information. I'm honest. You know this. I've always been honest. Well, you know what, Mario? You're a pizza. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you're, you're a pizza shit. <laughs> well, Luigi, uh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I'm very disappointed in you. How could you? How could you say that about me? I'm disappointed in you, but I think I'm more disappointed that I didn't eat you in the womb. <laughs> uh. What happened? Oh, fucked up, Mario. what happened here? What what the fuck happened? I, I I really I really don't know. I don't either. It's got like real dark in a hurry. <laughs> I don't know and I don't don't I, quite I don't understand know what it why. is where It's crazy. Yeah. That it is. it is. That is one of the things eh. that it is. Oh, uh, I mean, shit gets dark from time to time, you know. Yeah. That means you're not Sun drinking. Down. If the, if your shit is too dark, that means you're not drinking enough water. <laughs> what, what, what do they say? If, you, if your pee is a little too yellowish, you might be dehydrated, I believe. Yeah. Your pee should be clear, not yellow. That's a common misconception. Your pee is never supposed to be yellow. Son of a bitch. 
If it's clear, if it's if it's a little too yellow, you're dehydrated, fella. If it's a little too brown, you probably had sex with a clown. I just made that up. Clearly, you made that up. If your pee is clear, um, maybe you're queer. Uh, I don't know. If your pee is black, you're probably like Cthulhu or some shit. Cthulhu. His eyes are black. His pee is black. His soul is black. It's a lot of black. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're black or white. Do 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 do. It was so black. <laughs> Russell Peters Don't. came by to try to host Death Comedy Jam with it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um. Uh... Yeah. See, you thought. I was going to go extremely tasteless. And as it turns out, I did a rather intelligent joke about Deaf Comedy Jam and it being populated by a lot a lot of African American comedians, as a matter of fact. Not exclusively, but a good percentage. I would say 80, 80 to 85 percent. What was that little Oh, I didn't know it was time for the prayer break. <laughs> you kind of turned into that uh, that one character from SpongeBob. I hope my extreme ugliness does not deter you from watching this movie. Not at all, boy. <laughs> oh, don't matter if you're black or white, or in some cases, half black and half white, like those aliens in that one Star Trek episode. Oh, you mean Michael Jackson? No, oh, I literally mean that one Star Trek episode. <laughs> yeah. Was... Ooh, yo, yo, yo. What? I don't know. I just felt like saying. Yo, 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 yo. Is that okay? Am I allowed to say it? Okay, I, 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 I shared the uh, I shared the picture of uh, the character from uh, Star Trek. There, you can. Uh, Put that up on the screen. The half black, half white people. They are literally half black face, half white face. Oh. Ha ha. Oh, oh. I am protected. Oh, no. You can get me. <laughs> oh, now it's, I'm not protected. Now you're dead. Maybe it was you who was being protected from me. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione, Jason Amherst, and Dane Forgione, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time for Michael Riley and uh, the, the Dane Forgione and Jason Amherst. And we'll see you next time on the Michael Riley with the Dane Forgione and, and the Amherst and Jason Forgione and the Riley and the Michael.